Interesting. We are joined now from Moscow by Vladimir Posner, a Russian commentator. Mr. Posner, thank you for being with us. My pleasure. Thank you. Give me your thoughts on this war on terrorism that George W. Bush has declared. Will he enlist the help of the world? Well, I suspect the world will be only, only too happy to help. But what bothers me is I think that this is actually the new world order, the real one. What happened in New York is the beginning of a very different world. I don't think people realize that the world is split, not east and west as it used to be, but north and south. And that down there in the south you have millions and millions of poverty-stricken people who really have no future and for whom dying is not such a big deal. And I feel that uh, you may unleash all your might against Afghanistan uh, or whoever and certainly wipe out a whole lot of people, but that's not going to solve a problem. It may be a way of, of getting back at, at, uh, at terrorists, but in the long run, it's not going to solve the problem. As long as you have that kind of, of inequality and hopelessness among so many people, it will be easy to recruit more and more of them who will be willing to die for what they think are their great ideas. And I think that's where the world, what the northern hemisphere should be looking at. How do you solve that problem? Because when people have food on their table, when they have a roof over their head, when they have work and they have a country of their own, they don't become terrorists. And I think that's where the real problem is. Mr. Mr. Posner, are you just saying that this will be a protracted struggle, that there is no, going to be no victory if we choose to engage in the struggle? Oh, I think that uh, there will be victories in the sense of wiping out terrorist bases, but I don't think it's going to wipe out the attitude that leads to terrorism. Fear alone is not going to be enough. And while I'm sure that the world is going to unite in trying to solve the terrorist problem, what I'm saying is it's not just military force that's going to do it. It isn't enough. It isn't really understanding the problem. People don't die, don't give up their lives if they have no motive to do so. And I think you should be looking at that very carefully. Uh, that's where the real problem is. The president says he wants to go after those who support, who harbor terrorists. Can the United States make it tough enough on those countries that they're forced to abandon these terrorists and cut off the, the havens and cut off the financial support? Um, I don't think so. I think that in the long run, I mean, you're not going to bomb Iran, Iraq, and everybody the smithereens. You can't wipe out an entire nation. Uh, who do you go after, really? Who are you going to punish? Who are the, the people that you're going to try to kill? Uh, I just don't think it's possible to wipe everybody out. And the more you hit them, the more they're going to come back someday. Uh, I understand the rage, and I certainly share the grief. After all, I grew up in New York City. But I just don't think that that's going to solve it. I think you, you need some other philosophy. You have to realize that perhaps what we should be doing is thinking of how to raise raise those people up, how to give them a better standard of living, how to make life worthwhile for them so that they want to live rather than die. Vladimir Posner joining us from our Moscow Bureau. Thank you for joining us this evening. Thank you.